Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I know it's been a couple months, but I'm officially back and hopefully going to be posting more on this channel. Um, this video is actually going to be kind of a, uh, an, an addition to the uh, other programming we've had. Um, there's also a podcast episode I was given the honor to be on Scanner School for this exact topic and this video hopefully will be uploaded the day before, which is the 20th, before it goes live on the 21st of September. So, where have I been really quick? Well, basically I've been very busy with work and everything, and I kind of just took some time off, but I'm going to hopefully be devoting more of my time to this, because a lot of you guys seem to be liking it. So, today's video is going to be a little different, that a lot of people don't really really use their pagers for, which is programming an entire statewide system for traveling. Uh, the example I'm going to be using is going to be Indiana Safety in Indiana. And I will be showing you basically how to set it up to scan any site on the system and any talk group on the system. And I'll also show you how to import your talk groups as you usually would either manually or by a system import. So, with that being said, I'm going to use a code plug that I have actually used already, but I'm going to try and replicate the same thing, that I, but I already have it programmed in. So, I'm going to go ahead and edit my existing main code plug. First things first, you want to do is go to your frequency and system settings and your P25 trunking system. Also, if you've not seen the previous videos, you need to watch those before doing this because this one's a little bit more advanced than just starting from square one. So if you're starting from square one, go watch the other videos before you come and watch this one. But with that being said, I'm going to, there's one of two ways you can do this. You can either import it by the CSV or from the radio reference import straight from the PPS, which we, we've already done videos on that, or you can just hit the new, which I'm gonna do. So under the system alias, I'm just going to put IN for, Indian, for Indiana. As you can see, it's already up there, which is saying the safety. Now, now, you're probably thinking again, WACAN, hex ID, the WACAN ID and the system ID. You can either put five Fs under the system, or correction, the WACAN ID, or for the system ID, put three Fs, which says that, hey, I don't know what it is. Can you help me find it? And then the page will help you find it. Or you can go to radio reference, which I always recommend doing, and you can take the system ID and the WACAN and just copy and paste it. So we're going to do that. So... We're going to type in the WACAN and the system ID. And you can skip site trunking. Now, this is where it becomes very important. Sites. Now, if you look here in Radio Reference, if it'll scroll down for me, there is a lot of sites. All of these are sites right here. But the problem is the pager, the G4, at least with mine, running 1.31 is still having trouble if you put in too many systems at once. So we're going to trick the pager into thinking that it's receiving only one site when it's trying to receive the entire system. But luckily, the pager will only pick up the strongest signal, if that makes sense. So under site 1, under the one and only site, instead of having, like you see I have here for Illinois, I spelled Illinois wrong, but that's besides the point, how it says it has 157 sites, we're going to trick it to just have one. Now, in order to do that, we're just going to put our site ID, our F, excuse me, our RFSS ID as through two Fs, and then the same for the site ID. What that's going to do is it's going to wildcard it and pull in anything, any system or any RFSS ID and site ID that it finds on any of the control channels we set up. Now, here's where it's going to kind of be a little bit difficult. You can have up to 256. I would recommend putting in primary and secondary control channels, which on radio reference would be the red for primary and the blue for secondary. Now, depending on how big your system is, you may not be able to do just the blues, which are the, sec the, al the alternates or the secondaries. I usually do both, but if you can't fit both, just do one. So... If you put in all your control channels here, it'll look something like this. This is the one for Indiana. And you can see here I have about 158. I, again, these are only primaries. These aren't secondaries. I recommend putting in primaries 
in secondaries, but if you can only put in primaries because of space, just put primaries in only. But remember, you can only have 256. That is very important. So you might have some restrictions depending on where you are, depending on how many sites there are. Next, you I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use the safety I already have here because it's already been set up. Now, under full spectrum scan, down here it kind of looks like this. You would hit full spectrum scan and then go to two, two separate frequencies. Now, or two separate frequency ranges. Now, you want to... It's going to look like this. You're going to have the start of the frequency range at the lowest of the public safety band to the highest of the public safety band in the 700. And then the step of 12 point or 12,500. The reason is because that's usually where the steps are in trunking systems. That's how far they are apart per frequency. Same thing with the 800 band as well. So two separate bands. That's if, if it starts... If it goes through these control channel lists out of all of these and it cannot find a signal, it will start searching for one for you automatically. So that's basically how you do it through the system. Again, whack in ID, put your system ID in as normally, F, the F's for wild card, as you see down here for Nashville as an example. Under site though, you want to keep it as one and just put FF for everything. FF for one site because it's gonna it's gonna confuse the pager into thinking there's only one site in there when in reality there's over a hundred on this particular system. And I would just plug in all the control channels as I see fit necessary. Now with that being done out of the way, we're gonna go to our group ID settings. This is also important. So here you can add your talk groups, you know, do whatever. Um, you can add whatever talk groups you want. You can import to, to the CSV file and radio reference database. Uh, let me see if I can find mine here really quick. Uh, you can see I have THP in there, uh, ISP there. There's my um, Indiana State Police um, talk groups. I just imported those from the radio reference through here. Uh, again, we have a video on that previously if you want to know how to do that. Or you can just add them manually as I've shown before. Next step is to go to your zones. Now, just remember, you do not have to have any talk groups created. You, if you want to pick up anything on the system, you can do that. And I'll show you here really quick how I've got mine set up. So here's Indiana. Uh, here's I have ISP, ND for uh, Indianapolis, the safety scan, and then the flight watch, which is just a talk group I like to listen to for air vac helicopters. So here's what you want to do. So say I'm going to create a new zone. Let's say hypothetically, I'm just going to call it, uh, let's see here, I'm just going to call it Indiana. And we created, this is where it's also important, under the receiving mode, you want to put monitor. That means it'll pick up anything and everything. You can have the voice prompt say whatever. Zone, you can call it alias. I'm just going to call it in for, IN for Indy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the very bottom. This is our hypothetical one at the bottom here that we programmed in. Actually, let me pull up the one that's safety, the one I already have set there. You can see here it has full spectrum enabled. It's got the WAC and ID, hex ID, the system ID, and the control channel list. Next you want to do is you want to come all the way down here and you want to fit in the talk groups that you want. Let me see if I can't find it here. So yeah, you want to put in all the talk groups you can, all the talk groups you want here. It can be any talk group you want. And you know, you remember you have your priority and non-priority as we said before. Let me I'm going to jump here because I need to find the one talk group that it usually has. So this is what you're looking for. If you do not have this talk group in here and your um if you don't see this on your group ID settings, Go in there and add this talk group, 65535. This is basically a all-call talk group. You have to put this in there or else it will not pick up anything. So that's the only talk group you have to put in. After that, you can put in whatever you want. I mean, like I've got ISP here. Let me show you one, one I have. So for example, under my ISP tab or under my ISP selection, I've got it, I got it under scan because that's the only one I want to listen to. But you can see I've got all the ISP talk groups for dispatch and all call. Now for the scan, I've got two talk groups. You can put up to 64 talk groups in there, but just remember if you're just want, you just want to scan for fun, make sure all call is in there by default. You have to have that in there or else it will not scan the system. It will not pick up any talk. It'll, 
it'll lock onto a site and connect to it, but it will not play any audio because it doesn't know what to look for. It is, it's just looking for this all call button. So you have to have that in the, in the selection list. You can also add any talk groups you want. Like I've got flight watch in there just to identify it and I have it set to record as well. So that way, you know, I can save that audio when I'm traveling through Indiana, stuff like that. Now this doesn't just apply for any, just this system. It could apply for any of them. If you're just scanning, having fun on a system that you've never been through before, just run all call. If you do it properly, at least putting all call in there by itself, you should be able to pick up any talk group on any of the sites you're receiving. I took the pager from here in Louisville, Kentucky, all the way up into Wisconsin, north of Milwaukee, through the statewide system in Illinois and Indiana, and I did not lose coverage once, and I was constantly getting new talk groups. But the only downside to this versus a scanner like an SDS or a 436 or or any of those other scanners, trunking scanners, is that you do not have the entire database. The Home Patrol database is not in this thing. So you're going to be getting random numbers. So under a talk group, where the ID would usually be, you'll probably get, like, say it's talk group one. Let's call it, you know, police one, hypothetically. Police one's talk group one. If you have it assigned in that non position as talk group one and it's in your, your priority list, which here... Like hypothetically, let me show you. Actually, that was a bad example. Let me show you a better one. Say, for example, we're 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 flight watch comes up on our pager, and we have it since we have it in the members list right here. It'll show talk group ten six eight two. It'll say flight watch on it. But if this wasn't here, it'll say this wasn't there, and my all call was the only thing that was in there. You would see all you would see is you would see a black screen with yellow letters or yellow numbers saying 10682, which is this freq- this talk group, and it'll show you the, the radio ID. That's all it'll show you. It will not give you aliases. The only downside to this is that you can only have 64 per channel knob. Now, that isn't to say that you cannot make multiple zones for multiple sectors of the, the map. So, like an example here, let me actually pull this up here. Radio Reference has a system map of the safety, hypothetically. Not every statewide system has this publicly. But we'll let this load here really quick. And you can see here it's got a north, basically a north and a south zone. So basically, if you wanted to, you could split this up into north, south, east, and west sites if you want to to get more talk groups in there. Or you can go through the painstaking thing of doing each county. That's possible. You can do that. But you know, if you're like me and you're just running through casually... You know, you're just running through the state and you just want to pick up stuff really quick. This is a quick a quick method that you could do within 10 minutes. As you can see, I've done it for Indiana, Ohio, Tennessee as well. Another thing I would recommend putting in there, and I, I did talk about this on the podcast with Phil on Scanner School, is putting um, your mutual aid channels. So... Hypothetically, if you lose coverage on a statewide system, you still have the eight calls and the eight tack channels because you can get stuff on there. I've heard stuff on there in the past before. I'd recommend doing an analog tab and a digital tab and then scanning both together so that way you're not missing anything. But this is again, this is how I have it. I have state, it, I have it under t- trunking talk group scan, It'll only scan the state police. Next to it, I've got a bigger city. After that, I've got the scan, meaning that it's it's scanning for anything on any site that I want that I'm on, and then I can have like random mystic talk groups over here. But again, you have to remember if you're wanting to scan an entire site or the entire statewide system at once, you got to have monitor on. You have to make sure that all the control channels are right, which you got to be careful because these may not be correct, and that you only have one site, and it's set to wildcard with two Fs on both of them, and you have to make sure you have all call in there. You can have, if you have 63 other talk groups in there, it doesn't matter. You have to have all call to pick up anything. So that's a basic overview of that. Um, I, again, I'm going to be on Scanner School. Hopefully the posting of this video is the 20th. On the 21st, I will be on there tomorrow. I'll be uploading this video today, which is the 20th. Um, we'll be talking more in depth on how to do some of this stuff, but this is like a quick little overview on how to do some of this stuff. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll make sure to answer them. I know a lot of you guys have been leaving me comments and I've been gone. 
I've been answering some of them, and I do apologize for being away for so long, but I will be getting back into this and hopefully be working towards making out more videos more frequently. So, again, if you have any questions, you can post them down below, and I appreciate you stopping by.